We're at LBJ Skate Park. This has been my home for about 11 years now. I've been coming here for a very long time. And this is where I love to skate. This is where all my friends are. I have a lot of fun here every week. This is where I come to relax, kick it with friends, and just have a good time skating. feeling it at the beginning when I first got here and then now it's just become like a chore like it's just fucking exhausting <laughs> I just gotta come back to it a little later when I'm actually like into it I think a lot of like what has to do with uh, landing tricks has to be motivation not just like skill and like, talent or anything it has a lot to do with if you want to do it and I think after trying it in the hot sun for so many attempts you just kind of get tired of it so you need to come back to it later there's like three parts to this trick and it's basically, it's called the kickflip frontside nose grind 180 out. So there's the kickflip, and then the nose grind, and then the 180 out. That's just like several things to think about and just to, to the average person, it just looks like a simple skate trick, but there's so many things behind it that I have to think of and so many different things that you have to try to actually get it right. And this just so happens to be like a terrible place <laughs> to try this trick, so it makes it even worse. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe we can go to like another spot or somewhere else to try to film this trick. I think I, I'd have much better luck trying it at this different park around here. We're at Fast Forward Skate Shop right now in San Antonio, Texas. This is where I come to get my boards. They've been supporting me for over two years. A good skate shop, come check it out if you're in the area. So I've been a vegan for about a year now. Before that, I was vegetarian. Uh, I was just really into that type of stuff for a while, and I decided to uh, to investigate my food a little more and be more interested about the things that I'm putting into my body. So yeah, I've been meat-free, dairy-free for quite some time now, and it just made me feel great. Uh, I just haven't felt uh, as energized as I do in my life now. started incorporating better habits, it definitely helped me out quite a ton, especially with skateboarding. So in, uh, in 2013, I competed at the X Games in Los Angeles, um, the last year that it was held in Los Angeles before they moved it here to Austin. We've got six skaters in the lineup out here this afternoon. They're going to get to skate the exact same course that we saw the pros earlier today in the Street League Selection Series. And uh, these guys submitted videos. In, uh, they were picked by the Red Bull people in order to compete here. And these are the six skaters we're going to see out here this afternoon. I mean, it's pretty amazing that they can be out there skating that same course that the Street League guys are. I mean, only minutes ago we had Nigel Houston out there and uh, Paul Rodriguez. So, yeah, it's crazy. There's the judges right now, Joe Brzezinski there, Steve Caballero, like it's a heavy hitting lineup. 
was going to say, you got Steve Caballero <laughs> sitting in the booth. That's a legend right there in the judging booth. So the way it works, it's an 18-minute jam session. These guys are going to run in order. The, uh, the runs are 45 seconds in length, or if you have two falls, that'll end your run early. And basically, it's the best score that counts out here. And uh, those were the three judges we just saw a shot of that are going to be uh, taking a look at the action out here today. We've got uh, Ramon Clemente, Yuri Ficini, Will Flores, Ben Sauer, Tyson Bowerbank, and Jonathan Cosentino. But again, it's a jam session here. It's the best run that counts on course right now. This is Will Flores with that backside tail slide. Looking solid straight out of the gate. Oh, lip slide. It's looking good so far. It's a solid run. Well, so far, everyone, uh, the first three guys that we've seen in have uh, had pretty solid runs here. Coming up on the 22nd mark. Going for nose manual. And body just going over the top there, jumping off. Well, time winding down for this run. He'll have a chance to get one and maybe two more in. Front side nose grind, trying to revert out of that. So two falls, that'll end the run short right there. I mean, 18 minutes goes pretty quick, doesn't it? Once everyone's having it. It goes really quick. Especially uh, when your first couple guys are having uh, pretty much full pulls at 45 seconds. So especially with certain contests and serious contests like the X Games, you have to think about certain tricks beforehand and you got to do things that you know that you're going to land in that moment. You got to not really take too many risks or else you might bail and get disqualified so it's a very uh, it's a very critical thought process having to go through those things and uh, decide okay am I going to do this trick am I going to do the smith grind and even though I'm not that good at smith grinds or am I going to stick to the tail slide I'm better at tail slides and you have to link those tricks together in a single uh, 45 second run so it can be a very nerve-wracking thing especially when you're the only one on the course and your name gets called and it becomes something where the pressure is put onto you so that's a very uh, difficult thing that I have learned about and I'm not like too good at but uh, it's de it was definitely a good learning experience yesterday my setup was quite different I mean it sounds kind of silly but my shoes are different. These shoes like have more feel on them. They've been worn a little bit more at the toe, so they flick a lot easier. They're vulcanized, so they got more feel. Uh, it sounds kind of silly, me pointing out these differences, but they can actually mean quite a bit when it comes to trying certain tricks. So uh, I've been skating better in these today, so I'm gonna see if I can get this trick in these shoes. around and just using all your energy blood sweat and tears man just going at it and just thinking nothing's gonna happen and all of a sudden you got it it's just it's almost like a high <laughs> it just feels great to know that you finally accomplished something that you've been working towards really hard some days it doesn't go like that you get lucky some days you get lucky up the happiest guy on earth so this is why I keep skateboarding just, it's just it's like nothing else <laughs> 